Usually, when we're hungry and we've got other stuff to do, the most handy option is to order a pizza at home. It is delivered in a large box and steaming to our delight. But, every time you have opened the box, did you ask yourself which shape its cover has? Yes, I know, not so many times because you could hardly wait to devour it. The cover of the cardboard box in which the pizza is delivered has in general the shape of a square. The square is one of the geometric shapes that can be observed daily starting from the kitten garden and continues to exist naturally in our lives in many situations. Here are some examples. The educational cubes where every face of the cube is a square. The chess table which is made up of 64 squares. Many floor tiles have the shape of a square. Some of the icons of applications on smartphones have the shape of a square. Trousers with square prints. Purses in the shape of a square. And jewelry in the shape of a square. In this unit, we are proposing to find out what is the square and which are its properties. Now, to get at the definition of a square, let's remember the definitions of the parallelogram, the rhomb, and the rectangle. The convex quadrilateral with the opposite parallel sides 2 by 2 is called a parallelogram. The parallelogram with the two consecutive congruent sides is called a rhomb. It can be observed that all the sides of the rhomb are congruent. The parallelogram with one right angle is called a rectangle. It can be observed that all of the angles of the rectangle are right. What do you observe in the case of a parallelogram that has one right angle and two consecutive congruent sides? What do you observe in the case when a rhomb has a right angle? What do you observe in the case when a rectangle has two consecutive congruent sides? You observe that in all of three cases, we obtain the same flat figure. This convex quadrilateral is the square. Remember, first definition. The parallelogram with one right angle and two consecutive congruent sides is called a square. Second definition. The rhomb with one right angle is called a square. Third definition. The rectangle with two consecutive congruent sides is called a square. The square has all the properties of the parallelogram, the rhomb and the rectangle. The opposite sides of the square are parallel 2 by 2. The sides of the square are congruent. The angles of the square are right. The diagonals of the square are congruent. The diagonals of the square are perpendicular. The diagonals of the square are bisectors of its angles. The diagonals of the square have the same middle point called the symmetry center of the square. Observations A diagonal determines two congruent isosceles rectangular triangles on the surface of the square. The two diagonals determine four congruent isosceles rectangular triangles on the surface of the square. The formulas used for the calculus of the perimeter, area and length of the diagonal of the square are very useful in real life. Please remain a few more minutes with us and you will get to know how. Let's suppose that you have a courtyard under the shape of a square which you want to fence. To find out how many meters of fence you will need and which would be the needed budget for purchasing materials, finding out the perimeter of the square is the key. The perimeter of the square is equal to the sum of lengths of its four sides. For the square A, B, C, D, we will write the formula. So if the length of the side of the courtyard is equal to 10 meters, then the perimeter of the yard is equal to 4 by 10 meters equals 40 meters. Let's now say you want to pave the same square-shaped courtyard. The area of the yard will help you find out how many square meters of pavement you will need to cover the whole surface. The area of the square can be found in two ways. The area of the square is equal to the square of its length. For the square ABCD we will write the formula where L represents the length of the side of ABCD. The area of the square is equal to the semi-multiplication of its diagonals. We know that the diagonals of the square have similar lengths. If we note, we obtain the formula of the area of the square under the form. In our case, we know the length of the side of the square is equal to 10 meters, so we obtain the area of the courtyard with 100 square meters of pavement. If we start from the idea that you want to divide the yard in two parts with equal surface for a party which you are going to host, you could do this in multiple ways. One of these would be to unite two opposite tops of the square that are representing the courtyard. 
for example to unite A and C with B and D. Thereby, you obtain the segments AC and BD, meaning the diagonals of the square that have the same lengths. The length of the diagonal is equal to the multiplication between the length of the side and the square root of number 2. For the ABCD square, we will write where L represents the length of the side of the ABCD square. Or, now because you followed us with so much attention, we propose a checking game. Look at this gift box. Which geometric shape has the cover of the box and why? Please pause to give the answer. Exactly! It's a quadrilateral with a length of the sides of 4 cm and it has a right angle. In the end, being a rhomb with a right angle, the gift box is a square. And now for the last challenge. Look at the picture and identify the square from this shape giving two reasons. Solving. The AEDF quadrilateral has three right angles, A, E and F. Therefore, a fourth angle is right, so we can say that this is a rectangle. But we can observe that the diagonal AD forms with the side AE an angle with a measure of 45 degrees and how the AED angle is right. We obtain... Having two congruent angles, the ADE triangle is a rectangular isosceles, so it has two congruent sides as well. Meaning... The AEDF rectangle with two consecutive sides is a square. If the information that you acquired today was useful, we are waiting for you with new topics in mathematics. And do not forget to share this video with your friends, colleagues and teachers. Thank you.